So it's 6.55 a.m. on Wednesday, January 11th, 2023. And I am hoping today is the day that I go home. Um, my youngest will stay with me all day if I'm in the hospital all day. Well, regardless, he's going to be with me all day. Um, so that's always nice to have someone by your side and another set of ears to hear what the doctors are telling you discharge instructions and the like. Uh, there have been, there's been talk about getting a nurse in uh, my house at the time of discharge or shortly thereafter. I'm assuming that they'll talk to me about that. Um, if discharge is in fact the way we're going to go, I know that one of the prerequisites for discharge was that I needed to be off the IV medications. So yesterday, <laughs> sorry about that. So yesterday I switched um, from the IV short-term medication to, um, so I take it orally. And it seems to have been going well. I'm hoping it continues to go well. Uh, that doesn't mean I don't have any pain. It just means that the pain isn't so excruciating, it's driving me back into the ER. So, fingers crossed I get discharged today because it is uh, seven, eight, nine. nine or ten days. So, fingers crossed, Houston next week, baby shower next week, so much, so much. So, it is now Thursday, January 12th. 2023 and I have been in the hospital since last Monday. Um, today they're going to do more testing on me. Uh, my white blood cell counts keep going up even though I'm on these antibiotics. I have, um, let's see, a CAT scan they're going to do and another paracentesis to get some of the fluid out of my abdomen. I thought I had the pain relatively controlled, but I slept a little too late through the night and I didn't set an alarm for, um, for pain medication and it got away from me badly, really bad. So now I'm chasing some relief for that. Um, so we'll see, hopefully today or tomorrow I get discharged, but one step at a time. I don't wanna to have to come back um, at least anytime soon for this. I am so excited. I am getting sprung from this place. I was admitted on January 2nd. Here we are Friday, January 13th, and I'm going home. I cannot wait. I, oh, it's so hard. But being home is just going to make me feel so much better. And then I have MD Anderson coming up in a few days. And then the baby shower. So much in one week. But most importantly, I'm going home. Saying goodbye. Finally.